Put you at the fucking dope. I want to see niggas be able to look at this game for what the fuck it is, which is a living, breathing fucking thing. You should look at this fucking, this genre, hip-hop, rap music. You should look at this shit for what it is. This is the Roman fucking cathedral. What the motherfuckers brought in gladiators and shit like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? When you had to fight the lions to the death for your life, obviously. For their entertainment. And this is what's going on. Like, my nigga, folks were saying they thought people photoshopped this picture and shit like that. Which means they can't believe that it's real. Like, why the fuck is this nigga kissing a nigga on the neck? They're trying to destroy you. And I, I have to I have to speak to you because it's the only way that I may be able to help. I'm trying to talk to you, dog. Welcome to the Big Facts Podcast. I am L Canseco, fearless leader of AO Nation, and this is Oh, definitely. Make sure you get your Are You Serious t-shirts. We are now selling them for only $20. If you are an AO Nation, you need to get your shirt. Go to paypal.me forward slash are you serious 10. Put all of your information in the note section of the PayPal. Shirt will be there within three to five business days. Make sure you send your picture back to the information in the motherfucking description box will be my Facebook and my Instagram so we can get your picture posted for everyone to see. Alright, we got some issues. We got some issues with my nigga, man. Um, nigga just trying to blame uh, Gates for what uh, Big Homie uh, Young Boy did. And they're like, a nigga can't do nothing what a nigga don't want to do it over like that. It ain't like Gates built Young boy, like, young boy, for the most part, built his own shit. Like, he came up on his own. Um, him and Gates became, you know what I'm saying, whatever friends far down the line, uh, which I still don't understand. I don't know. Is it bad and rude? I don't know the fuck. I don't know. Um, but if you don't know what happened, it's a picture that just came out of um, NBA young boy kissing baby Joe on the neck. And it's just like, you have to do like we did. We got to do this how we did the Wayne and Baby situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, to see a nigga kissing a nigga, it strolled the fuck off. Um, it strolled the fuck off. Um, I don't know what I, I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit, like, it's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's gay. It's gay as fuck. It, that, that just what, the shit gay as fuck, but it's like, um... I want to get down to what's going on here, like, because we, we, we already understand it. the way these niggas rocking at this point in time, the way y'all rocking, it strolled the fuck off, like, we understand it now, what I'm saying is, let me try to help y'all, first of all, like, I, I, I'm, I'm a, like, dog, stop kissing niggas, that's, that's, that's my, stop kissing niggas, stop doing that, if you don't want no, if, cause it's already like, alright, so, if a nigga, you can't really say, I don't give a fuck, I don't give a fuck, because, if you having to respond to this shit, whatever like that, obviously you don't like the feedback that you're getting. My question is right here, for some real aid, I need to holler at you about who released that picture. Boy, you getting too damn big for this shit, boy. Hey, look, I'm extremely appreciative to everybody who's been showing love, giving their suggestions on what we should stop next on the Big Face Podcast Alabama tour. But I need you to go to my DM and not the comment section. What the fuck is you doing? Stop that. I'm going to preach to everybody who's been donating. If you've been donating, I definitely know who the fuck you are. Most of y'all have been donating, you know what I'm saying, like, routinely. If you haven't donated yet, get the fuck out of my comment section. Tell me how much you like the show. Just yeah, please. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, I don't, you know I don't fuck with those kind of people. Just go on back to, you know what I'm saying, where the fuck you came from. You know what I mean? PayPal.me forward slash Aaron 337. Very simple. Very easy. 
um, the Big Face Podcast snapbacks, as you can see, are now in. Going for $25, so are the RU Series t-shirts. I actually took the RU Series t-shirt down to $20. All you got to do is go to paypal.me forward slash RU Series 10. Put all your information in and the shit will be there in three to five business days. Get your shit together, bit homie. Who put that out? Who put that picture out? Because they trying to surface and shit like that. And another question is, why in the fuck are you so, like, if somebody did sneak that picture in, why in the fuck are you that comfortable? Do you know how comfortable a nigga gotta be in order to actually kiss a nigga in the club? Like, I guess a nigga might have thought, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, we in the club, nigga gonna think, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm whispering in his ear, whatever like that. But I ain't whispering in his ear, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm really kissing him. Like, why is that important to do in the club? Like, why in the fuck would that be something that I want to do in the club is kiss a nigga on the neck? But let's talk. Let's get further into it. There is someone after young boy. Please listen to what the fuck I'm telling you. There is someone after young boy. Someone is trying to destroy everything that he built. This whole hotel footage shit. That was another anonymous fucking lead. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's shit that be going on with him that's just like, it's somebody on him trying to ruin his shit. And like, you'll have this in your life. Like, you ain't never, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's something coming from somewhere, everywhere you go though. You already in a fucked up situation and then here come another something. It's extremely important to find you some goddamn solitude. It's so fun to have fun, man. It's fun to have fun, dog. Until it ain't fun no fucking more. <clears throat> what I want to see is somebody like how Gotti did. Gotti, the game didn't have to get rid of him. Like, the game didn't have to use him to fuck up for him to, you know what I'm saying, go and do some other shit. You know what I'm saying? He backed up on his own. I would like to see young niggas do something like that. God is damn near one in a million. Niggas use up everything they have to where their name don't mean, mean shit. Niggas wait until their name don't mean shit to back the fuck up. It's like, hold on, man. I'm like, you should have been back the fuck up. The fuck? You didn't back up. You didn't back up willingly, nigga. You backed up, you know what I'm saying, because you had to. You back the fuck up because, you know what I'm saying, like, niggas ain't want to hear you no fucking more. That wasn't you doing that. Like, that was, that was the game doing that. The game pushed you out the fucking door. I want to see niggas be able to look at this game for what the fuck it is, which is a living, breathing fucking thing. You should look at this fucking... This genre, hip hop, rap music, you should look at this shit for what it is. This is the Roman fucking cathedral. What the motherfuckers brought in gladiators and shit like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? When you had to fight the lions to the death for your life, obviously. For their entertainment. And this is what's going on, like, my nigga. Folks were saying they thought people photoshopped this picture and shit like that. Which means they can't believe that it's real. Like, why the fuck is this nigga kissing a nigga on the neck? They're trying to destroy you. And I, I have to I have to speak to you because it's the only way that I may be able to help. I'm trying to talk to you, dog. You moving sloppy. Extremely sloppy. And I don't understand... Why you can't see that you need to find out who took that goddamn picture. And you got to excuse me as I'm thinking because as I continue to contemplate in my mind, I'm thinking that I'm not sure why. But I'm starting to think that it was Baby Joe that had something to do with the releasing of that picture. 
Why didn't that come across my mind? Baby Joe. Oh, not Baby Joe. Let me holler at you. Come on over. Come on, come on to the screen, dog. Come on to the screen. Why I'm thinking it's you that took that goddamn picture. I had that picture taken, dog. You a rapper. I know you're a rapper because, you know, as, as this shit popping off, I'm starting to see that you you a rapper. Are you getting tired of, of being Baby Joe? You want to be Big Joe? Young boy, let me get you back to the screen, man, home. How long you been knowing this nigga Joe, man? How long you been knowing this nigga Joe, man? Because... It's, it's impossible for two niggas to sit on the throne. Don't nothing beat a cross but a double cross. And this is why I ran with the story of Chief Keith Baby Mama being the one who set up 6 9 Because it made perfect sense. You know what I'm saying? It's the motherfucker that you least expect. Obviously, we find out later that that was bullshit. But... It made sense, though. And you can't rule out anything as long as we inside of the nigga kingdom or niggadom. As long as you here and you have niggas that come from the street, it's, we might as well be in the street. If we in a fucking, if we in jail, perfect, perfect picture. If we in jail and everybody in here is street niggas, then this is damn near the street. Because everything that gets handled in here will be street. It's street politics, and you need to take what you know from the street up in this motherfucker. But, of course, in there it's concentrated, so you can't be as loose. But it, it is the street, because everybody in here thinks the street. Therefore, it is the street. But, in this situation, I'm not sure why I'm thinking that it, it's... Baby Joe may have had something to do with it. And like I said, young boy, I need you to, you know what I'm saying? Like, let, let me know, you know what I'm saying? If this your people, whatever like that. And Baby Joe, let it be known, you know what I'm saying? You ain't had nothing to do with that. Because everybody asking how Baby Joe feel. Because in this situation, it, it don't seem like Baby Joe is the assailant. It look it, like it's looking like Baby Joe the victim. If Baby Joe would have had a, a ugly face on, and what the fuck you doing? That would have been perfect. But he had a smiling face on, so it's kind of confusing, whatever. But I'm it's 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 it's, it's an enemy somewhere within these parameters, and that, and that's something that I want to I, I I really want to 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 harp on because. Whenever it's somebody or it's something going on and someone is infiltrated the fortress I always look at the motherfucker closest. So every I, I need you to man look into that shit, man. Look into that shit. Because you cannot have two niggas on the goddamn throne like you know niggas want you to fuck out of there. Who the fuck does this nigga Joe know, man? Who did he know, man? That's D in it. Y'all calm down. That's him in there. That's him. See? Even they know. If they feel like it's anything going on, no, see, like this is the type of shit you need to be on. If there's anything going on, it's coming from the inside. That's the only way you can truly die, is from the inside. That's the only way you can, you know, what I'm saying truly be crossed or uh, uh, truly harmed. It's from the inside. The biggest falls that you took in your life was from somebody on the inside. And this ain't to young boy no more. This is to you. You watching this video right now. You done took some 
hard licks in your life. I'm gonna tell y'all something, man. If I just get off point a little bit, the folks who fuck with, hey, I talk to a lot of y'all, man. A lot of y'all on my social media, um, Instagram, Facebook. Um, everybody in the comment section, I fuck with y'all too. But everybody who come and really holler at me, it's I talk to some of them, like, and it's like. Everybody is damn near like-minded. You have a good heart. And I know you have to be, you know what I'm saying, that type of person because you've made it this deep into the video. You know what I'm saying? Average motherfucker not going, you know what I'm saying? Oh, fuck that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they don't have a tension span like that. But if you made it this deep in the video, like, then you know what the fuck I'm talking about. Being betrayed from within. When I tell y'all about, you know what I'm saying, how a nigga, even a bitch, will do you for attempting to help them, I hope you feel me. I hope you feel me. The reason I preach solitude after sobriety, but before celibacy, It's because it's dangerous fucking with people. It's dangerous fucking with people. It's dangerous. And you've had situations where you may have prospered. Years ago, you may have prospered. Would it not have been for you having a good heart? And wanting to help. Seeing the best in someone who couldn't see the best in themselves. And for that, you were punished because... They showed you exactly who the fuck they were at that moment. Everything that, everything that everybody else had saw and told you about that person. I'm sorry, if you're a bitch watching this, if it was a nigga, if you're if you a nigga and it was a bitch, or if it was your homeboy, if you're a girl, if it was a homegirl, everybody, like, it was people telling you, and you said, no, no, it ain't like that. And then, in front of the whole world, they proved everybody right. And that's why I'm telling young boy to look at the nigga on side of him because this is where I've seen people's life, career, everything they built be destroyed from right here. Not from out there, from right here. The people out there don't care enough about you to want to see you down and out. And even if they do, they don't hate you enough to actually put their plans in motion, to make plans to see you fail. But these niggas right here, they don't respect you. And because they don't respect you, They will put a whole situation together with the intent of destroying everything. Not put a plan and a situation together to where they succeed in life. Not in, not not putting a situation together to where they get to the next level in life and they become, you know what I'm saying? Their plan is merely to destroy you. You ask a nigga to build a house, he will give you a million excuses. You ask a nigga to shoot up a house, he asks you nothing but when. When do you want to go? 
And this is what we need to change. This is what we have to change. And I try not to give, you know what I'm saying, extreme um, methods of, of fixing this situation that we're inside of. But at this point in time, we're running out of time. And these niggas are guiding our next generation, the seven-year-olds, eight-year-olds. They're guiding them and teaching them everything that they don't fucking know. This shit is way deeper than fucking rap music. Big Face Podcast, I am A.O. Conseco. Make sure you hit that PayPal. Show love to all A.O. Nation who's been fucking supporting and showing love. I salute you. I salute you. You are the only reason I do this shit. For everyone who doesn't have it and shares videos, subscribes and make sure that it's known that they are A.O. Nation, I salute you. You're why I do this shit. Love, love. See you in a minute.